Um, I feel like you know we just build off that. How much is, does your perimeter shooting help Mondo inside and the others? Um, I feel like you know they wouldn't double as much as if you know our outside shot is going and. Um, it frees him up so he can get easy layups and easy baskets. But, you know, Mondo is, is Mondo. You know, he's going to make things happen, um, you know, whether that's on the ball, um, when he has the ball, rebounding uh, defensively. Um, he's an you know, All-American, you know, big. So uh, he's definitely going to you know, be, be good regardless if, if, if they, you know, are shot falling or not. you got a pretty good rotation of shoes. I mean, how do you choose what shoe you wear on a, you know, on a given day? I mean, does it change if you have a good game or are you going to keep that shoe? If you have a bad game, are you going to to change your shoe. I mean, what's the thought process on that? I let my mom pick my shoes. <laughs> yeah, I call her before every game, and uh, I show her my shoe collection, and then she picks them. You switched at Duke, though. You warmed up with the light blue ones, I yeah, think, they, and you switched I was, them. I was just playing with the fans. I have never paid more attention to shoes than I have with yours this year. Yeah, they, they ain't let me wear them. Uh, I'm still on hold. I'm, I'm going to try to bring them out of the tournament. If, uh, you know, that's a, that's a hoops question. Yeah. Yeah. What were your thoughts when uh, Coach Davis broke out the weighted vest at practice? Uh, you know, it was, it was. I didn't know why he did. I thought we was in trouble or something, or we didn't do something right. Um, but what he was, you know, his his emphasis was um, just not playing with, you know, weight on our shoulders and you know, stop, you know, listening to outside noise. And he said we've been playing with, you know, that's how we've been playing. And so uh, he said just take the weight off your shoulders and uh, just play free and uh, play together, and um, everything else will work out for itself. You feel like this is the freest you guys have played this season, maybe? Yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like we are locked in from the, from the jump on um, both ends of the floor, especially our defense. Um, our defense was, was real good. And, um, just coming in every game, I feel like we, that's how we you know, we got we got to play. Speaking of the outside noise, you you, put, you tweeted out something the other night. What were you trying to achieve by tweeting it out? What kind of brought you to it? Um, you know, you know, rumors, I'm sure y'all seen it. Um, and, uh, that's, what, that's just what it was, and you know, none of that was true um, as far as you know, me and the RJ situation. But um, I, you know, I texted RJ um, and I asked him first before you know, I posted it just to make sure he was good uh, to respect his privacy. But uh, man, that's my brother. Um, I love him, and you know, we don't got nothing going on, um, no beef, no none of that um, that they tried to you know label that onto us. Um, and so um, I told him, you know, just tune out that noise and let, let's hoop. And he responded pretty quickly by retweeting with a comment. Sure. What kind of reaction have you guys gotten? I, I know that it'd be human nature to not want to read what people say after you yeah. put a tweet like that out. I mean, it, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I mean, you know, that's what you know, social media's job is nowadays yeah. is to you know get however many retweets, likes, views, or whatever. And um, I mean, y'all y'all ate it up. Um, <laughs> that's what, I mean, y'all believe whatever y'all see um, on social media, but. Um, like I said, there's nothing you know going on between us. That's my brother, and I love him. Good thing some of us haven't reported on that stuff because we yeah. have good sources. <laughs> on this game in particular, how much how much fun was today, and what was maybe the funnest aspect of today? I think um, you know just seeing the, the smiles and uh, you know the hypeness uh, of our of our team uh, um, throughout you know one through eighteen. I feel like everybody was locked in and. Um, you know, everybody was cheering each other on, and I feel like that was the biggest part um, of this game, and just showing that, you know, passion and uh, love for the game. Sorry if it's already been asked. Thanks.